Glory to Vishnu. She better miss you! Guys, welcome back. So, <laughs> as I said last episode, for a quick recap for all you guys who just cut in in this episode and did decide not to watch the last seven episodes of the series, um, we won the war. And in doing so, we gained this island and the ability to annex, um, oh my goodness. I still don't know how to pronounce it, but this country right here, we were able to annex it, officially adding it to our empire, and I'm going to instantly open up the factories that were already there, start having it underneath our substitution system, because I'm just a nice guy like that, kill off all the factories that aren't really making me money, even with me subsidizing them, because I'm not stupid, I know if there's some factories, let's see, let's see which factories aren't making us much money, but wait, before I get into that, there's actually stuff I want to talk about. And I don't know if you guys, if you didn't catch this last episode, I said that we are approaching a new dawn. And what I basically mean is, there's a lot of things with that statement I meant. First off, India has proven itself. Like, there is no shadow of a doubt in any European mind. I mean, there might have been. There might have been just a little teeny bitty, itty bitty shroud of doubt in some of these guys' minds, but no more. It is official. We are the dominance. We. Oh my goodness, they are getting destroyed. It's because we have blockaded them, and so the rebels are just popping up everywhere. Anyways, um, we are the ones that proved our dominance to every other European. The Russians fought us. The Russians, guys. The Russians fought us. The Austrians fought us. The British fought us. These three gay powers, all great in their own minds. Austria, also Austria and Canada also deserve a mentionable, mentionable title, even though we destroyed <laughs> the United States. Um, but we stood our own against all of these great powers. All these Western powers, may I add. Nonetheless, we stood our ground, defeating them in a conflict that lasted only, I would say only about three, about five years. We stood our ground. We stood the tides of war. We are what remains of the great Indian people. We are the next generation, the next great power. We have officially, with this war, moved up to third place. Third place, guys. We were at 8-6, I think, before this war began. And now we're at first. It was because we, like I said all this time before, we are the greatest. The Indian people are now the greatest. And this new dawn of where the Asian powers are now the dominant, are now the dominant people in the world, is a new era in title. So, yeah, just wanted to say that. Um, I'd also like to say that this, for all intents and purposes, let me now. I'll probably start in hearing the game. For all intents and purposes, Ireland. What? Oh my goodness, that has never happened before! Oh my goodness! Island, dude! Oh shoot, you have to really be careful, dude. You are surrounded by evil people. Oh, that means Great Britain's even getting torn apart by itself. Ouch. Anyways, that's never happened before in a game, but yeah, as you can see, that's... Island being formed, guys, that's definitely a symbol of this is a new world. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's... Let's continue into this new world, and what I was going to say is that, for all intents and purposes, I think that was most likely the last great war of this game. I mean, I mean, I won't deny that there probably will be one more skirmish before this completely ends. I mean in terms of major, 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 major installments, that was probably the one. So if you did not see it, I highly suggest you go see it. It was a... Like, I would say, you didn't, I would say, before you watched it, it was a pretty dang good war. Well, huh? how did I lose my alliance of France? It must have been all those wars I was fighting in. Oh my goodness, there are so many combinations. This is kind of scary. Like, look at this. I mean, in my world, this would be considered abnormal. But in this world, there's like so many communist nations. I mean, France is communist. What a socialist. Um, Germany is, I think, communist. No, they're Republicans. Okay. Russia was communist. They were the biggie commies. Turkey are the new biggie commies. Um, 
uh, England? Is UK communist? No, the liberal is still. Wow, I can't believe it's still liberal with all these, like, Wilka problems. Sweden is the most divided country of them all, though. And it's communist! Yeah, I mean, gosh dang. So many communist nations, and then China was also communist. Though, at least, at least my, uh... <laughs> At least my problem of having an alliance with the Russians no longer applies, and so I don't have to feel like I hate the- Like, guys, I don't know if you knew this, but like I said, I have a profound hatred towards communism. Okay, I can get an alliance from, Mon from Mongolia because I'm, they're in my sphere. So, they wouldn't be mad- I would not be mad if they got an alliance with me. Anyways, I was profoundly mad about alliance with Russia because it was kind of like, we hated their ideals and yet they were our allies. It, it just- I know it wouldn't quite work for the longest of times, but- you know, I had to go with it, and in the end, you know, it ultimately did pay off. Okay, let me see. What were the most costing factories? Small arms factory in Madras and Citrus. So let's see. Madras, Madras, Madras. Yeah, so, so by name, I'm looking for Madras. Madras, this, this one right here. That should help my money system just a little bit. Because that should, yeah, that should account for a lot of it. Yeah, I'll keep it. As long as it's under 87, I can support it. As long as it's under 95. Oh my goodness, Island, you guys went in debt quick. <laughs> I mean, you guys, that was the quickest in debt I've ever seen. Gosh. Okay, let's see. The supporting a 6,000. Okay. Total expenses, total earn. Okay, I have to make sure I, I prepare for myself when our market actually crashes again. Anyways, yeah, this is just. Oh my goodness, and now the fascists are trying to take over. Get, gee, Willikers, this, this campaign is just trying to kill me. Uh, luckily, all my soldiers are now dealing with the rebellion over here. I'm gonna keep probably a permanent army over here because this is gonna annoy me for the rest of my days. Is having like all these rebels. Look at all these guys. They, they all think that they own the place. But I just want to tell them that I do know how to fight. And I will not let them conquer my land. Tensions dissipate. Yippee! And then there's that little island with, me, with these troops. Oh. The memories, yeah. So yeah, guys. It's, you know, it's kind of sad in a way. Because we are reaching the end of this Let's Play. Which is, I think, one of the saddest things ever. And I just realized something. We're going to have war bonds until the very end of the game. Like... Legally speaking, we won't be able to go to war with the Britons ever again. So yeah, we basically, we basically, yeah, we basically have war bonds for the rest. Of, we are basically war bonds for the end of the game, so we don't really need to be worrying about substitution. And our economy is even going up for it, but, wow, gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, India, I mean, throughout this campaign, India has been definitely, has definitely been a great nation to play as. I mean... Through all, through all of it, um, you know, I did, you know, all the way back to when I was playing as Punjab. Uh, it's not Punjab, it's, no, it is Punjab. Yeah, I still remember how to pronounce that nation. <laughs> I thought we forgot. Thank you fans for nagging, for putting it to my head to the point where I would never forget it no matter how much I tried. Thank you. All right, anyways, though, um, Punjab is... You know, always back from Pooja, but India has, I always knew it would be always a fun Let's Play, and it has been a very fun Let's Play. I mean, the amount of episodes, the amount of stuff I've done, I mean, stuff that I've seen happen, never seen happen. I mean, two things I've never seen happen in this game is I've never seen the Philippine fo Philippines form naturally, and, like, without any intervention by any other European power, and I've never seen Ireland form. That one is a big shocker right there. Uh, whatever. I don't really care at this point. So, well, I do care, but in all honesty, I don't think any of my decisions in the long term will make that much of a difference. So, but yeah. I mean, alright, alright, I'm gonna stop talking now. Because I don't, I'm gonna leave an entire episode of just dedicated to just like talking about all the like stuff and all the like things that happen in this episode and all this Let's Play, because I'm going to have to gather my thoughts about it. Because that's how I always like to end the, end the Let's Plays, guys. If you ever see my Let's Plays, I always like to end them with this big afterthought ending where I discuss the advantages and the good, bads, and what happens. You know what, Jeremy? Alright, we'll get that stupid alliance with you guys. I know you guys were. You guys, you guys were a trustworthy ally. 
I won't deny that. You guys helped us out through thick and thin. You guys got tore up in the process, but you guys were an honest ally. I kind of wish you guys had formed Greater Germany. It would have helped us out so much in the time. Like, seriously. So much. Alright. Um, everyone's really trying to become free for me. Am I soldiers just not... Are my soldiers just not succeeding? Is that why? Or do the rebels just think they have a chance? Let me see. I'm gonna go check out my rebel... My rebel... Rebel... Eh. Rebels... 265 divisions of... Of... Of communist. And a whole bunch of tanks I'm ordering. So they'll eventually be all made, and I'll eventually be able to go take down everyone. I mean, it won't take long before my ta before my tanks will just steamroll everyone. <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't even. It, it, the sad part is that it doesn't even matter if they have more men than me. I just have to use gas attacks, and it's all over. Because for some reason, I never programmed AI with gas attacks. So in the end, if I really wanted to, like, just go send these guys go in, because I don't want that army to lose. But if I just go send these guys in with gas attacks, it's all over. Oh my goodness, the Indian communists are just not giving up, are they? They are really pushing for this whole out rebellion thing. And it's really... Oh, look, another country. Are they free? No. Wait, wait. Yes! Okay. Uh, quick. Hmm. Are they controlling my capital again? Okay, well, before I completely do stuff, let me do this, because this has been... This has been one of those countries that have been... Oh been in my uh, sphere for, for a while, and I just realized, and just looked at that, the, the Chinese have now become a great power again. That means, as far as I can see, there are three great powers in the world that are Asian descent. Wow! Okay, that usually never happens in this game. Now, that definitely never usually happens, and there's a fascist nation in charge, okay? Like, there is, like I said, the rise of the, rise of the Asian powers. Rise of the Asian powers, guys. Rise of the Asian powers. I wasn't lying when I said that. Okay, now let's propose peace, annex, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, now you guys go, quickly go down to here and go go crush all these rebels. Um, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a bigger mass conscription. I'm gonna just start making lots and lots of soldiers. Wait, I don't need to make soldiers anymore, what am I doing? I can make, I can make airplanes! Yeehaw! We're gonna ride ourselves some airplanes, everyone. Let's go do that right now. Woohoo! Because airplanes are actually way better, guys, if you really must know. They, they're they supposed to count for troops at the very end of the game. Okay, there we go. We got 50 airplanes on the way. That should help with all this rebel -y nonsense. Okay, and then you're gonna hunt down rebels. Uh, yes. And then, yeah. We're also gonna do that. We're also gonna do this. Oh, man, we're getting money so quickly. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm a rich person right now. Like a super duper rich person. Okay, quick off. Brilliant! You may have military access even though I don't know what you would ever use it for. I mean, we're, we're a country all the way over here and your country all the way over there, quick off. I mean, what would you honestly use my land borders for? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you don't even have... It would kind of make sense if you had a border with us, but you don't even have a border with us. I don't understand. Why do you want our land? Oh, so confusing. Favor the capitalist? Favor the capitalist. Why not? <laughs> uh, the last years of Indian history, we are... <laughs> uh, the government has said we just don't care anymore. We are the leaders, so we don't have to conform to anyone. We want something to happen, we'll make it happen. Okay, for some reason I completely forgot that we did not take any land over here. But these guys are our vassals. I wish we could give away this land, like to Laos or the Lu Ping, because I really don't want this land over here. I just want this land. I don't even remember why I took that land. I think it's because I just wanted to weaken China. Yeah, I think it's. I'm pretty sure most things I've done in this Let's Play have been to weaken China. All right, Persia, you guys are awesome. <laughs> oh, Persia. Okay, yeah. Do we even have them in our sphere yet? Because I've been. Ah, oh, Japan, really. God, Romania. Oh, Jesme wants to be annexed. Okay, two states. Oh, two states, two states. Okay, I'm going to have a couple of you guys. I'm going to have you go over here so that we have a, a constant force over there. And then I'm going to have... 
Okay, I'm gonna have some of you guys start combining airplanes, start combining over here. I'm just gonna make a gigantic airplane force. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see. You guys are 15k, you guys go right here. So we can just start grouping up a new division. Yeah, we wanna make sure this new army is new, is both new and old at the same time. And there's some things happening with my outer colonies. Let's see, how's my island doing? My islands. Yeah, they're doing fine. Well, that's the only ones I... Ah, but I care about Djibouti. Djibouti is like my most awesome African colony. Ah. I'm so conflicted because I do want to go take that back, but it's Djibouti, it's Djibouti such a rival thing, but the rest of land isn't really... Ah, gosh. Hmm. Oh, gosh, I'm making so much money, too. <laughs> and then... Oh, my goodness. That, that looks way too weird in South Africa, and then... Crisis is avoided. Wait, what? What country is that? It's just all like a triangle country. New Zealand is something weird. Gosh, like this is this is such a different world than the world we grew up in, guys. Like, I've seen some pretty weird stuff before in Victoria too, but I've never seen that. Not in a million years have I ever seen Korea ever take anything from Russia. I've also never seen this type of Russia form before. I've never seen... Prussia? What? Why? Whatever. Oh, but... Prussia's alive when North... North Germanic Federation's alive. That makes absolutely no sense at all. And I think Poland's invading Russia. Yes, they are. You are a low blow, Poland. Poland. I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty jerkish, right there. I mean, they don't even have an army to protect themselves. Long live India! Yay! More Indian troops. Speaking of which, how is our administrative power looking at the very end? We're actually doing pretty good. Let's see. Persia is being okay. We are slowly influencing Persia. We move from sphere. Wait, what? They are part of our sphere? No, they aren't. Oh, we moved from, oh. Yeah, let's take him from Japan sphere. I get it now. It, it took, sorry guys, it took me a little bit. It took me a little bit. Huh. And let's see. Lots of soldier deployment. Lots of soldiers. Let's just get Kabumi. Yeah. Get everyone over here. Get everyone over there. Wow, this is becoming a big, gigantic unit. Well, once I divide it, it'll become less big. But it's a big gigantic unit that's becoming quite scary. And look how much men we can make. Gosh, I wish... I kind of wish we did have more time in this game right now. Like, you know, I wish... In some ways, like... Things, gosh. Oh my goodness, Romania also expanded. Shoot. Gosh, everyone just taking a little bit of Russia at a time. Um, I kind of wish... Oh my goodness, China looks scary. That does not look like a China that would be friendly towards me. I would probably... if. If I would guess correctly, I'd probably not be able to defend this part of China. I'd probably have to go back to right about here, lands. But I'm keeping China I'm Until the very end of the game, I'm keeping China divided. But second in military, second in that. Oh, gosh. And then island for... Island. The island thing just really... Oh, my goodness. Germany, you getting ripped apart. Oh, uh, Denmark. Oh, Den... Sweden's back to normal again. Yay! Denmark's back to normal. Uh, United States, I think, has always been normal. It's been the U.S. of A forever. I mean, there's really been no change, okay? I think I can finally influence Persia to be on my side. Persia should be on my side. I'm like its closest neighbor. Let's get him in my sphere. There we go. There we go. Now I can use all their industrial power to my own ends. They're gonna give me alliance. And look at that. Look at that. My influence is now spread all the way from Persia all the way to the Afri- Not to the Africa coast. To the Pacific coastline. To East Asia, basically. Maximum new tariff things. I don't really use those, though. Okay, let's go back to here. Let's go back to... Technology, that's what... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Mass politics. Let's get mass politics, everyone. The doctrine of fascism. Even though fascists have always been around in my country for, like, years. In fact, we've been dealing with them for a very long time. In fact, what does our political party look like? It. Okay. That's what it looks like. Okay, do 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 do. Tidy up this. 
and whoa, that's a lot of units. So 23 horsemen, work harder! Yeah! I don't care if you die in those labor mills, you guys work as hard as you can for your king, for your country, for India, and for Vishnu and Shiva and Vishnu, because they're all important gods too. By my population standards, yes, they are still very important gods. Even though I actually, I'm actually more Buddhist now. So everyone honor Buddha too. He's, he's also one of the most important gods we've ever known. I know. <laughs> Oh, the Buddhists would hate me for that statement. B Buddha is not recognized as a god. Oh, but... Yes, we do also respect the Buddha. That's that's what I'm basically saying, guys. We do also respect the Buddha. Okay. And, wow, this game... Shoot, this game's gonna end in this episode. Well... No. It will not end in this episode. Do you know what I'm gonna do, guys? Before the ending of this episode, I'm just going to... Just pause exactly... On December, on December 31st, 1935, the first tractor in Fizzler. Thank you guys for finally getting tractors. You guys are such good people for realizing that you should modernize. Oh my goodness. And there we go. Let me save it. Okay, guys. So, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Next episode will be the final episode of this series. So, it'll, it'll basically be a wrap-up video, if I must be honest with you. So, if this is going to be the last video for you guys to watch of the last legit Let's Play, then I want to thank you guys for watching. It was good having you. And see you guys next time. Hopefully in another series. By the way, don't forget to vote for the next series. So, see you guys next time.